As many of you are aware, Juju Shenanigans has been working on Mahito for quite some time now. But how long has this actually taken? Oh my goodness! Alright, uh, let's address the elephant in the room. Mahito has been in the works for literal months now, and people aren't happy, as it has now taken longer to make than any other character, even longer than Megumi, which also has free movesets. Then how could it take this long? Simply put, it's because it was changed or reworked around four times. And that could be for two possible reasons. Either Z wasn't satisfied with the outcome, or it was due to the community pressure. But why wouldn't he be satisfied with Mahito? Most people seem to already think it was pretty good, or was it really the mounting pressure to make something great? So let's look into it. Before Mahito, we had Megumi, which changed up the game giving us a new, more passive playstyle, which mixed up the gameplay for many. And with that we also got Maharaga, which flipped Megumi's playstyle on its head and made you play really aggressively due to the draining ult meter. But Megumi wasn't all that complicated, but it was rather unique, which gave most people an expectation for the characters to come. And that character would be Maita. At first, most people were fine with Maita's base, as it was released pretty consistently. The issue started with its awakening, which persists to even today. Initially, you needed to hit a black flash for your awakening. It was rather tedious, but it was unique. This was later changed so that you could just normally awaken, which in my opinion was a good change, considering what was next to come. Then we got a couple reworks, like the change from head splitter to drill splitter. Then Z added the second awakening that he calls the super awakening. Not something that hasn't been done before, but what made it unique was the fact that you needed to land black flashes to get it, bringing back the idea from before. The second awakening was just a more powerful first awakening. The forward dash was better, the moves did more damage and were also just better. Not just damage wise, but visually as well. But then Z decided to change the awakening again. Now you needed to hit three black flashes with G instead of Idle Transfiguration. Not only that, but some moves got replaced, some new ones were added and some old ones were re-added. And that's where the questions began. Were all of these changes necessary? Is what people asked. After six months of waiting, that's where the problems begin. Not with my, though, not even the developers, but you. From the poll I put up, it clearly shows that people are fine with waiting, which is a good thing. But as always, the louder part of the community is always the negative minority. Because some people really seem to think that Maito is getting worse somehow. Now, yes, some of these may just be straight up rage bait, but there are people who genuinely believe that Maito is just bad. It may not be the next revolutionary ability, but it isn't bad by any means. Has it taken a bit too long? Yes, absolutely. But if Z feels like that it needs to be worked on more, then so be it. I would rather have a fully developed character on release that doesn't get radical changes after it's released publicly. Because imagine how much worse the reactions would have been if it got released prematurely and then started getting reworks. And from what I have heard, a lot of these changes are brought on by the community. So it's nice that he listens at least. And that would make sense, because there doesn't seem to be much of a plan for the actual character, considering the amount of changes. The only thing that has stayed consistent is the black flashes for one of the ultimates, and that's it. In some cases, yeah, winging it and making stuff that feels right in the moment can be a good thing. But if it takes a while, your vision might eventually change, which likely happened here. But don't take my word for it. I went out and asked Z the important question, why has this taken so long and what's the plan? And he answered, he has four things that I want to target, his ability to morph his body, his ability to transfigure humans, his ability to kill instantly with idle transfiguration, and finally his spirit body of distorted killing. I never really felt satisfied by the moveset, but I 100% planned the base and the rest was freestyled. And out of the four things you mentioned, we've only seen three, with the spirit body still being in the works, and the last thing we should expect to see is transfigured humans. But I mentioned earlier a poll I put up and I got a lot of responses. So let's see both sides. First comment is by Megidawa007. Z is putting a lot of effort into Mahito, while yes, he's been in early access for an obscenely long time, he's slowly coming together and being just right. 
He has so many variants to his moves and he actually feels like Maito. Not just stretchy arms and random references like Sorcerer. When Maito finally goes public, it'll be worth it, I believe. And this is one of the more understanding comments. I definitely do agree that this feels way more like Maito than in other games like Sorcerer, and yes, this has taken a bit too long. And specifically due to that, there will still be people who just aren't happy no matter what. Next up, we have a comment from the other side of the argument by Solar Sirius. No! Maito has been in early access for far too long, and the constant changes are a major reason for that. If Jojo hadn't released recently, I would have said that it was preventing new content from releasing. I just want Mai to get released so Z can focus on other characters, and only two moves are needed. And this comment confuses me a bit. The last part is valid. You may just be fatigued from only getting Mai to related changes and updates, but wouldn't you consider new additions to Maito to be as new content? Like, there's still stuff being actively added, and there's also been some other niche updates that, you know, some people care about. But obviously these weren't the only comments. There were other comments as well documenting all the changes, specifically in recent times like the second ultimate obtainment method, as well as the nerfs and balances, which seem to be the main critique. But do tell me down in the comments, what are your thoughts? Do you think that Maito will turn out good, or do you think that these changes are just too much? And with that, I will see you in the next one.